Hi, welcome to the screencast. I would like to introduce the SLFOS, which is a generator of textual language editors for the web. This is an example of a web editor generated with the SLFOS. So we can see here that the editor uh, comes with a set of uh, predefined actions like creating state machines, opening existing state machines, or generating uh, code from state machines. The example we have here is a secret compartment we can see we have states and on receiving commands we switch uh, to new states so this is the transition um, we see from the editor we have syntax highlighting keywords are highlighted we have also syntax validation for example we change here we have uh, the parser that reports an error we have uh, also undo redo support history management and as you can see also content assist uh, by pressing control uh, uh, space by pressing control s here we save the resource on the server uh, we have tools here we can generate from the menu the Java class from this state machine model and we have a Java class that has been generated here we can run it and we see that we are in the state idle we wait for door closed let's enter door closed and we jump to the next state I want to show you now another web DSL editor uh, which targets the specification of conference website content. This is an example of a conference website specification and we see from the tool menu we can generate the content of the website. So let's see how it is rendered currently. And let's, for the sake of the demo, uh, extend the submission date. To do so, we switch back to the editor. And here we have a section dates. And we can use content assist and postpone to Tuesday. June 17th, for example. Okay, let's save and trigger again code generation. Specify where the code will be generated. And let's see uh, how the content is refreshed by simply refreshing the browser. Now let's move to the DSL tooling and see how we can generate a web DSL editor from an already existing grammar. Let's take the state machine example shipped with Xtext. Here's the example and simply right click on the grammar and click generate web editor. We can then include already existing code generators, include a common navigator and specify a product configuration uh, for the deployment of the web editor. Let's click finish and we see that we have two projects that are generated. We close the UI because we are compiling against wrap target and then we can validate our product and export to the Tomcat server. Let's click finish. Okay, now let's see. Let's start the service and we can access our state machine web DSL editor. Thanks for watching.